guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to jump in real quick and do an empties video. I know I put up my last month empties kind of late, so I'm trying to get a jump start on this one. Um, so I won't talk you guys to death. Hopefully I'll just run through everything really fast and let you know if I loved it or didn't love it. You know how it goes. So. I will start up with some lotions. I used up Dr. Teal's uh, Pure Epsom Salt Body Lotion Detoxify and Energize with Ginger and Clay. This scent is so delicious. I love it. It's like a nice um, musky smell with like ginger and like a little zest in there. I don't know. It just smells really good. It's hard for me to explain. Um, but if they do have this in your local local Walmart, I believe it's sold in, yeah, Walmart is where I got it from. I would tell you guys to like just go sniff it in the store and see if you like it because I love it um, they also did have the shower gel and I use that oil but I really did like this and David liked this as well this is nice and thick this is a good lotion to use at night if um, you like that type of thing you like a thicker lotion I can recommend this now for uh, tree hut this is Shea moisturizing body lotion and passion fruit and guava I like the scent of this this is a good summer fragrance and good summer uh, consistency but for me because I like a uh, lotion that's a little more on the thicker side I would not repurchase this um, but if you're somebody that doesn't really need lotion but you like lotions for the scent this is a good scent uh, be it's a good scent and it's light. It's a good light consistency fragrance for summer, if that helps you. <laughs> um, and this one, Dark Kiss, you guys know Bath and Body Works. When I say I smell, like when you think of a scent, this is something that I love. And I would repurchase this, but for now, because I have so many things to go through, and I don't even think this is available anymore, I wouldn't. So, yeah. Um, now for two other lotions, I use these up. This one's the one from Rituals, Organic White Lotus and Yi Yi Rin uh, lotion. I really would only use this, it's, I'm sorry, it's a body cream. I would use this on days that I shave my legs because it's just so uh, nourishing and softening. I really loved it. It took me a while to get through this. Um, oh, the, smallest, the smallest amount goes a really long way. I will be repurchasing this, but I already have another backup for myself in under my sink, so I won't have to repurchase that quite yet. I also use the Shea Butter Formula with Vitamin E. This I like to use at nighttime, um, but I found some other products that I think I want to give a try, an honest try, so I won't repurchase this, but it is good consistency-wise. I would do it on my elbows, um, I would rub it on my knees. Uh, any part that gets a little more dry than others, I would use it on my hips as well. Um, I really liked the consistency of it. It's very like cocoa butter like or shea butter like. Um, but I've, I've purchased some other things that I want to give an honest try. So if I had to go back to the store and repurchase it, if that was the only thing on the shelf, I would. If there's other, you know, you know what I mean. I liked it, but I'm not sure if I'll repurchase it. We'll leave it at that. Mm -hmm. um, now for soaps. I used up a lot of body wash. This is like the end of them all. This one's from Method. I would repurchase this. This one is cruelty free as well. Um, it's pure naked moisturizing body wash in Surfside. I really love the scent of this. David wasn't crazy for the scent of this, but I really liked it. I liked it for a morning scent. It would kind of wake me up. Um, and I would repurchase this. I want to say this bottle was like $5.99, $6.99, $5.99 from Target. One of those. Um, you guys saw that I purchased, I did a haul for Soapbox, and I really did like this. If you guys like a citrus scent, a light citrus scent, this is this one will be really good for you. I believe this one is, I want to say $5, and a portion of your sale goes to giving back. Um, to those in need and I really did like this. I probably will repurchase this again. I liked Yeah, I liked using this after I got back from the gym because it was kind of like a pick-me-up um, Scents, you know, scents play on your emotions as well. So <laughs> I really did like that. Um, we used two uh, body washes up from Bath and Body Works. This one's Creamy Almond Creamy Almond and Sunflower. This one, I was giving Shayna's kids a bath, and they dumped literally the whole thing out, and I didn't realize. I was like, why is the, why is the water so bubbly? I mean, what, are, what is this, a bubble bath? Not realizing that they dumped the whole thing out. So I can't even give you a real um, review other than it smells really good. I'm not even sure this is even available anymore. 
If it is, I'll leave it down below. But this one, we, um, David did get to use, and I love the way it smelled on him. This is a Freshwater Waves and Sandalwood. Delicious. He smelled so good. I was like, mmm. Um, so I would repurchase that for him. This one is the Sea Booth Honey Almond Nourishing Bath and Body Wash. I really did like this. The scent is great. Um, and I probably would repurchase this if this went on sale. You know, I, you guys know I like Sea Booth. They don't test on animals as well. We also used up two different, uh, soaps and I am gonna repurchase this. This is so great. This is the one that my dad purchased for me. This is the Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex Soap. And this was so, smells so, so, so good. You get out the shower and you still smell of it. Hours later, you still smell of it. I really like this. This company also is um, cruelty free. And they have all, you know, they list all the things that they don't have in the product, which is really good. Also, we went through the, the Soapbox Spearmint Bar Soap. If you... Okay, if you've been to a hotel and you used bar soap before, that's kind of what it reminded me of. Scent-wise, I liked it because it was, wasn't too minty, but you still got the fragrance of it. Um, light fragrance, great lather. Uh, I think I will repurchase this. I think this would probably be really good to travel with. Um, because I don't like to travel with too many liquids on me, I don't like to be stopped at all. Please let me just go through security and be on with it. This would be really cool if you had, like, the soap bar thing and you just wanted to be in and out and done with it. Um, light fragrance, like I said, if you guys like things like that or you know people that are, um, fragrance sensitive, this probably is something that's good for them. So... On to face stuff. This is a, uh, the tea, the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Toner Suitable for Blemish Skin. I absolutely love this. David absolutely loved this, and I will be repurchasing this again. Um, we went, we ran through this. I went to Walmart and I went and picked up Witch Hazel, thinking that would be a, like a good interim before I could order another one of these, and I don't like it at all. So. Um, I really will be repurchasing this. I also purchased a uh, Alba Botanica one, Acne a a Acne Dote Astringent. I really do like this, that, but I really do love this. And David loves it as well. He's like, I feel like it's doing something because it tingles. So I will be repurchasing this. I can recommend this. Um, you do just have to shake it before you use it because it does have like a white sediment or something down here. I guess that helps clean up the blemishes, um, but I really do like this. I feel like it keeps your acne at bay, so I can recommend that. Now on to hair things, and I think that will be the end of it. Oh, this mascara, uh, Maybelline Great Lash. It was cool. Uh, lots of lashes. It's dry now. I like um, mascaras that are a little more on the drier side and have a smaller uh, wand to get all my lashes and that did have that but I found um, I like the Pacifica one a little better because it's shorter and it does get into all my lashes but there is another one that I want to pick up I think from NYX um, but I probably won't repurchase that even though everybody loves it for me it was cool you know I want to try other mascaras out so, um, last month I went through two Silk Elements conditioners. I used these and I mixed them with, um, actual, like, liquid olive oil to do some deep conditions on my hair. And I know it's working when my hair is, like, so short stuck to my head. Ah, I keep hitting everything down, sorry. Um... I think I have a million more packets of these and I like to bring these um, with me when I travel because when I travel I don't like to bring like the huge shampoos and conditioners and all that all those things that the foil packets as much as we hate to have them they're great for travel you know so um, on to the next thing the organic smooth hydration argan oil and shea butter curl enhancing yogurt I like this, but after I use different products, especially from uh, Miss Jessie's and Shea Moisture, I will not repurchase this. I think it smelled nice, but I don't think it does or did as much for my hair as when I use the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Cream. So I know when I purchased this at first, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. This, this really works wonders on my hair. Compared to this, it doesn't. So I won't be repurchasing this. 
Um, and three more things. The Ion Anti-Frizz Solutions Lightweight Moisturizer and Detangling. It's 100% vegan, paraben-free. It's a leave-in conditioner. I do like to use this after I get out of the shower. If I feel like my hair is a little knotted, I will spray this in there. I also gave a bottle to my sister to use on um, her kid's hair, and they like it as well. It smells really good. The scent lasts a long time. You can use this to rehydrate your hair if you will I really do like this and I will repurchase this as well um, the Giovanni silk a uh, smoothest silk deep moisture shampoo we I went through this I don't really care for it like I said it was good at the time until I tried my Shea Moisture um, Shea Moisture products and Miss Jessie's products and the Alba Botanica products once I put them toe to toe with that to me, I could do without this. And the last thing is this oil uh, hair lotion from Motions. I don't know if you guys know, I was a Motions girls girl for years. Years and years and years and years. Anybody, anytime anybody stopped me in the street and said, hey, I love your curls, what do you put in? I'm like, hello, how do you not know? Motions. But, like I said, when new products come around and you give things a try and you realize what you were putting in your hair before does not hold a candle in the wind to what you found now, there's like literally no comparison. I love this stuff. Like I said, I was using it for years. It does smell really good. I think, um, I, I used to use this to detangle my hair and then I would leave it as a leave-in and all that stuff. But... Like I said, when you use Shea Moisture, I just really like this stuff. And my friend Jess, she was like, Sherelle, I can't believe you. You got me stuck on this stuff, and I really love it. And she said her curls have never looked better. So um, I really do like the Shea Moisture, and I stand behind it 100%. And I wish they would send me some stuff. <laughs> pay for it but that's okay um so motions I probably won't repurchase this again like I said I like the Shea Moisture and I'll just throw this in there uh real quick too because after I'm gonna wash my hair today that is gonna go in and this will be an empty as well so I will be repurchasing this you guys know that um you can either go on to SheaMoisture.com or you could purchase it from Tar I get mine at Target and I actually just saw that Walmart has them as well now so yeah this has been my empty sorry I'm talking so fast but I don't want this to run on as long as the last video. If you guys have any um, suggestions for products that you think I should try out, please let me know down below. And also let me know if you guys want me to do a question and answer video. I have had maybe a handful of questions that people want me to ask and I think I'm just going to do a whole collective video on it. And if you guys want to add to that, please let me know down below and I shall get to your questions. And um, I'm going to be doing an updated uh, hair routine and, or yeah, I'm going to color my hair. And okay, you guys will just have to stay tuned, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure in what order it's going to be. So um, hopefully all is well with you guys. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please do as well. Uh, we'd love to have you as a part of the family. Hopefully all is well with you guys. Please remember to be blessed, well-dressed, and not stressed. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye, guys.